Hey everyone, we are Tony and Sonia, and after more than 20 years of teaching, we finally decided we'd had enough and it was time for some adventure. So we quit our jobs, rented out our house and sold pretty much everything we owned. And while most midlife crises end up with a sports car, we bought a narrowboat called Kimberly Joe. And along with our newest crew member, Willow, we travel all over the UK's stunning and beautiful canal network. It'd be great if you came along and joined us on the same ship, different day. Join us this week as we discover the cottage where some famous people from the past lived. They changed the course of World War II and possibly saved the life of millions. And we ignore some sinister warnings on our journey and continue it onto three locks. Let's hope it all goes well. We also continue our search for the rural mooring of our dreams. So this is the White Cottage. It's currently for sale by the looks of things. It's beautiful. Um, but you have a chance to own a bit of history here. Um, but it was the home of Alan Turing, Harry Hinsley and John Tiltman, the wartime codebreakers at Bletchley Park. It's beautiful. It's the greatest encryption device in history and the Germans use it for all communications. So here we are, we finally moored up outside um, just by Simpson, the little village of Simpson, lovely little village. And that little pub there, the plough, is right on the canal so you can moor right, right outside it. But it is beautiful so I recommend it for a visit. Uh, but today we're just going to head off a very very short journey, probably only about 20 minutes, uh, a mile or so, uh, to Fenny Stratford. We want to moor up just before the lock. And we hope to spend a couple of days there. Join us for the cruise. Willow is getting ready to go. Oh yeah, happy Easter. Although when you're watching this, it, it won't might... be Easter. Yeah, probably won't be, <laughs> unless I send it out today. <laughs> Highly unlikely. Um, we are just on our way to Fenny Stratford. I had to quickly look in the book then to make sure that's where we was going. It's only like a mile. Yeah, I think it's about a mile. It shouldn't take long at all. Yeah. Um, just like a little feedback on Milton Keynes. So. The spot we had at Milton Keynes was absolutely amazing. I couldn't recommend that enough. What Great, is it? Great Linford Park. Great Linford Park. Beautiful pub. Uh, the High Street there is fantastic. The park's stunning. So many great things to see in the park. So many lovely walks. So couldn't recommend that enough. But we did find once we left that park, it, Milton Keynes was a little bit like the Milton Keynes we might have imagined kind of thing. It wasn't a place. It, it was very green either side of the canal. Yeah. But it was very busy, quite urban y. Yeah, it's not just not for us really. I suppose because we've always lived in places like that. That's not really what we're after. We're after a little bit more countryside. So, yeah, um, yeah it, it, it might suit you. There are some nice places, some nice parks and things, but um, the Warbler looked like a lovely pub actually. Yeah. Uh, um, it's a new marina there. That looked really lovely, but yeah. we didn't fancy staying there, did we? That's Campbell Park. Campbell isn't it? Wharf, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so we're off today. We're probably, we're hoping really, we would quite like to get a place where we're happy to stay there for a couple of days. Yeah. So we can get the cracks back up again and get a bit of shopping and get ourselves set again before we carry on. We've seen a few things we've not seen since the Thames. I haven't seen these geese since the Thames. I think these geese are so beautiful. So we haven't seen these geese since the Thames. We just saw a Cormoran, the first one since the Thames.
we spend the night here at Fenny Stratford, um, just to those moorings there. Um, today we're going to move along to the services, fill up with water again because you never not fill up with water. That means I can get all my washing finished. Go leave the services, got one lock to do there, and then we're going to travel through, pass Walter Eaton, onto the next page. And we hope to moor somewhere around here near Bridge 106 in, near Stoke Hammond. Um, what we're trying to do is find somewhere a bit more rural because the weather's not going to look great this week and uh, we want to be somewhere nice when we are up for a few days. Life on a boat with a puppy. And very unusually for this time of the year, we have the lesser seen pink flamingo floating down the Grand Union, making its way to pastures new. This ritual happens once a year, generally over Easter. Look at this wonderful plumage, big smile on its face. Really, I am so lucky to have caught this on film. Well, morning from a very sunny um, Fenny Stratford. We're on the move again today, so this will be like three days in a trot. We've done a cruise, which is unusual in recent months. Um, but we want to find somewhere nice to hole up for a couple of days. Yeah, but, I mean, is, is it? This little bit just here is okay. It's still very urban around here. Like last night, there was motorbikes doing donuts and skidding just round, round down the path here. So we're after a more rural setting. Yeah, especially if we're going to spend a few days um, with the weather. So we've got to go to the services, which is just through the lock again, because why not? And um, yeah, it's going to be a nice little cruise. We're going to stop at hopefully Bridge 106, uh, somewhere around there. Apparently, it's very nice. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. But we, yeah, we keep moving at the moment because we're just trying to find the right spot. So join us for another cruise. So we've started to notice now we're about five minutes outside um, Fenny Stratford. Is that right, Sam? Yeah, five, about five minutes, yeah. yeah. And we're starting to notice behind us, on that side, we're starting to see some countryside. So that's looking promising, because that's what we're after. We're on a nice spot, a um, bit of countryside, maybe a pub we can walk to still. That's what we're after, because I don't know if anyone else has checked the weather yet. We have to do it much more than we used to. But it is rain, you'll be surprised to know. It's about two weeks of rain. It's incredible. Good job we're on a boat. Saying that, it changes, right? So today we're supposed to be raining all day, but it isn't. Yeah. It is cold in the, uh, outside of the sun, though. 
Outside of the sun. When you're not in the sun. All oh, right. Definitely do Sonia's saying that um, she loves boat life, the channel, but also boat life. Um, but she would give it up to live in that house. <laughs> so it looks like they've got the fields there for the horses, stables down here, down the bottom. They've got like just little housey bits all over the place. I'd live in that pile. Yeah, we'd live in that hut. Behind us, blue sky, lovely, and then we have some moody clouds brewing. Hopefully not much longer to go, and then we can moor up for the day, or well, a couple of days. That's the plan. Right, so we've gone through the locks, or the lock. Um, Stoke Hammond Lock. Stoke Hammond Lock. It's absolutely it's beautiful around here. So we're going to pull up. We've got kind of like, it's a balancing act sometimes. So what we need to do is we need to be near enough a road where we can drop the car, but near enough a pub that we can walk to it. That's our balancing act at the moment, because around here, anywhere is going to be stunning to stop. Yeah. So we're probably going to go just under the bridge, stop there, I'll go back and get the car, and then we might kind of just walk it down a little bit or drive it down ever so slightly, so we're for a sort of a 10 minute walk away from the pub. That's the plan, and then we're, we're, we're absolutely making it. I'm sorry that I keep pushing down when I should be pushing up to see, so that's the one. Still getting used to this stick. So yeah, you can just see it's lovely around here. Beautiful, beautiful place. Here's Sonia driving. Uh, you probably can't see it, but Willow's down there somewhere. These signs have been the whole journey. So special about Broadstone. I'm reversing. <laughs> And why? Why are we reversing? Well, because we've got there's a place to moor just there, and then we pushed our luck a little bit and thought we'd go on, but there's no space down there before Solbury Locks. Yeah. And we don't want to go down any more locks today. No. So, so we're going to move. Reversing. You can just see there. Just reversing back. We're going to take that spot there. Um, and that's where we'll probably be for a few days, I think. And I'm going to go back on the bike, get the car. Yeah, so I'm doing a nice, this is the face of concentration. Turn the 
concentrated this much since she was up in front of the magistrate. Can you stop doing that? People will believe you. <laughs> she had to make sure she got her story straight, her alibi. Solar here as well because the solar right, the sun's going to go that way, I think. So we're heading south. Yeah. In the afternoon, the sun's going that way, so you want to come down here a bit more. Right, our spot just here is a beautiful, beautiful spot, and today is match day Wednesdays for the fishermen, so they got all the gear. Unbelievable, I've never seen so much stuff with fishermen here, so they got all the way down there. And you can see going all the way down there. They finished at three though, so we're just gonna keep Willow on a lead until then. So here we are, we are just down, we're, we're moored up just down from the three locks. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> no ghosts, no witches, no, no. hauntings, it's fine. Very disappointing. <laughs> but it is a nice pub, the three key, three, is it three keys? The three three lock. locks, the three locks. It is, um, did I say the three keys the first time? No, you said three looks the first time. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, as always, thanks for coming along with us on our journey, or journeys. We finally managed to get um, the sort of spot we're looking for. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and there's not been too many um, recently, so it's nice to be able to find one. And we're going to spend a couple of days here, we think, don't we? Yep, that's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Please keep your comments coming. We love them. And, uh, yeah, join yeah. us next week. Yeah, next week, or maybe at the moment. <laughs> this might be a cheeky Tuesday, we don't know yet. Yeah, because well, what happens is we get so far, we don't want to get too far ahead. We want the videos to stay relevant. So in order for that to happen, we have to sometimes push them out on a Tuesday as well. So I hope you're enjoying that extra bonus material. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.